Hey everybody, it's showtime. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Jamie and I are in my office in Nashville, Tennessee, where the weather's taking a turn for the better. We've got sunshine, we've got flowers, I've got all kind of plants that need to go into the dirt, which I haven't had time to do yet. But well, you got, got some of them and then it froze. I got the lettuce in and then it froze, but the lettuce didn't freeze oh, because I covered it with a sheet. Anyway, it's springtime in Nashville, which means uh, sneezing. A lot of sneezing. Claritin, mm -hmm. nosebleeds, uh, pollen. We're living in a bowl here. It's poll it's a pollen bowl. <laughs> and right now it's peak pollen, but it's beautiful. Been walking the trails, uh, swimming, uh, getting out there and, and participating uh, in my own physical well-being. Um, what is he was swimming, swimming quarter. <laughs> swimming quarter. <laughs> I've been swimming a mile a day, and yes, I am bragging. It's really hard, and on either side of me, there's real swimmers who are doing twice as much, twice as fast, but that's okay. I'm not racing. I just want to do a mile, which is 36 laps, or 72 if you count oh, down once, but down and back is one makes it 36. So it's easier to remember if I go 36. Anyway, we've got some wonderful guests today. Uh, I'm so excited to have Louise Mosry Coombe and Cliff Eberhardt with us uh, from uh, Western Mass, uh, or if they're not from Western Mass, they're coming to us from Western Mass. And uh, Michele's here, he's in the green room uh, outside of Venice, Italy. Uh, and uh, what else do we have to talk about while we get everybody up and running? Oh, we're, can we tell them about next, the May 9th? Is what, it too soon? To what happens May 9th? Oh, May 9th. Um, we've decided for our live stream to take your requests. Uh, so uh, it'll just be Jamie and Michaela and I on May 9th. Uh, I believe we'll be in Key West. Is that correct? I think we'll I be think in so. Key West or uh, Fort in a hotel we'll room. Be in, Florida. in Fort Lauderdale or Key West in a hotel room. And we'll do an all request Sunday. So email your requests to Jamie at folkhelper.com and we will play your requests on May 9th. Uh, what else have we got? Um, I'm booking uh, events for July for my book release, which is uh, barreling towards me. Uh, we're doing uh, quite a few events for the book release on Zoom, um, digitally, remotely, uh, and excited to uh, be headed to Winslow, Arizona soon uh, for uh, a week of shows. Uh, the dates on that are... May 17th right? through 21. There's tickets still available if you're uh, vaccinated and want to come join us. Uh, it's Roots on the Rail. It was going to be a train trip, uh, but we're not on the train. We are in this incredibly beautiful hotel in Winslow, Arizona. We'll take a bus ride to the Grand Canyon. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, myself, uh, John D. Graham, uh, Bonnie Whitmore, Betty Sue, uh, a long list of friends and uh, what I consider family. So we're going to have a lot of fun there. And what else have we got to talk about? Well, I think, I think there are some tickets left for our show in Key West as well, right? There's tickets left for the show in Key West, which is an outside social distanced show at the Perry Hotel Barrel House. It'll be our third show down there dur uh, during the pandemic outside in the beautiful uh, marina. The, the, the boats are are behind, in front of us and there's a pool and there's a stage and it's just palm trees. And and I just started reading the Diana Nyad book that you got me for my birthday and I'm excited to read it on Higgs Beach. Yeah, Diana Nyad. stand Nyad. in the sand where Diana Nyad came up and read her words. I'm so excited. Yeah, Diana Nyad is the uh, athlete who swam from Cuba to Key West. At age 64, she succeeded after trying many times, an inspirational figure. Jamie and I have both decided we have to meet her and we will at some point, I'm sure of it. Anyway, I think we have enough conversation. Let's play some music. Let's do it. Well, 
the grasses are swaying Sun's going down Music's playing You're weaving through town Pulling into the driveway Toss it in park Stare out of the windshield out into the world It was all for the love Of a reckless girl Who left you With a second place smile And a broken heart And the street lights are starting To flicker to light they go for a minute, then they get bright. Fireflies light up, circle and spark. But there's nothing really that you can do. Put your hands in your pocket. Try to get through the distance Between the daylight and the dark porch flags lie themselves down like forgotten soldiers or old wedding gowns in closets unopened and graves without any more as the night curtains lower Behind the rooftops, shadows dance across the sidewalks, ricochet off of the houses like pieces of art. And your mind is reeling, as the sky is changing all. Feeling you're rearranging the rest of your life like lights on an old sailor's chart. You climb back in, fire the ignition, put your hands on the wheel. Head into the distance, the distance between the daylight and the dark. It's nice to be playing. Yeah. We got on a stage in Nashville yesterday. Mm -hmm. Haven't done that in a year and I don't know how many months. Uh, we played a couple of songs at a benefit uh, uh, yeah, in East Nashville at D's. D's Country Cocktail Lounge D's in Madison, Tennessee. Country I love that place. Cocktail Lounge. <laughs> they have the best jukebox. They have the best <laughs> staff. They have, good, they have coffee. 
I it's a it. musician hang in East Nashville. They always Nashville. have cool movies on on the TV. I love it. Yeah, it's just a it's a local hang, and uh, the stage is uh, really. Uh, uh, built for songwriters and there's great monitors, great uh, room sound, the engineer really cares and and you feel like, uh, I don't know, it's like cheers or something for for musicians, mm -hmm. uh, struggling musicians in Nashville really. It's for musicians on their way that are just starting to climb the, the, um, the mountain uh, and uh, it's a good place to be with friends. It was fun to get up there and plug in and just plug and play. It's like a slow re-entry happening. People were distanced, people were mas masked, mm -hmm. um, and uh, the engineer was masked, but we were able to, uh, to uh, take a stage again. So uh, it's starting to slowly come back. Got me an apartment on the east side, fourteen eleven, thirteenth street. I walk on the tracks by the Cumberland River over the bridge. Past lovers leave. I'm moving on through the pain, through the pain. Way You bought me in that thrift store in Camden Town behind the station. You put your arms round me, you built me up, you tore me down. December sunset I see my breath Disappear In the cold winter nights Bums gather in driftwood By the river Whistle Train. 
the train Nice picking, Harris. Oh, my goodness. Let's play one more and then uh, bring our guests in. I want to thank everybody for joining us. And if you're coming to us from Cliff or Louise's Facebook page, I'm Mary. This is Jamie. They'll be on in a minute. Uh, and uh, I'm happy to, uh, to uh, be able to sit in this chair and broadcast. Um, Every single Sunday now, for over a year, we've been doing this, and uh, it's become a thing that uh, we look forward to. Yeah. And I don't think we've had a single Sunday yet where something didn't go a little haywire with the <laughs> technology. Yeah, every, it's, it's always, yeah. It's always something. Today wasn't bad, though, right? Just no. We had to reset the modem, hard reset, and mm -hmm. then it's we were kind of freeze-framed for a while, but then we reset it, and now we're back. And Yeah. We, we have no complaints. We have nothing to complain about. In fact, it's actually amazing as I read the comments and see just how many different countries uh, are being represented by the viewership uh, on these streams. It really is a, a global conversation. Yeah, it's cool. I've met like, there's a, we have a regular listener from Israel that tunes in, which is very cool. And it's, I mean, yeah. yeah, there's no boundaries. No. You know, yeah. it's it's so good you figure somebody's probably going to take it away from us at some point. Because it's, it. it's awesome, you know. The, <laughs> the, the, uh, the absence of, of borders and boundaries is good. It's good. We can, we can connect uh, with music and song and my stupid stories. <laughs> I, like your, I like your story. Uh, <laughs> Uh. Am I playing a different? Oh, it's a B minor there, isn't it? I mean, you wrote it the first time. Let's try that again. There it is. <laughs> Present city disappearing in my rear view mirror. Oh, just like she's always Spend my life running from the ghost of the Vukare. Dirty spillway water in the noonday sun. The daughters of charity left a mark on me. Keeping secrets just makes you feel alone. Magazine Street stole from me. I never thought I'd find my way home. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Wake up in the morning. I thank God for you. Thank God for you. Thank God for you Wake up in the morning I thank God for you
Jones and on a Greyhound bus with a 20 year ticket to a tortured mind. Sirens, sorrow, cigarette butts. My Jesus in pieces, broken as a highway lines. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Wake up in the morning, I thank God for you. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Wake up in the morning, I thank God for you. Give me something no one can take away. You saw right through me and loved me anyway. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Wake up in the morning. I thank God. For Nice look there, Harris. Well, you can thank Caleb Elliott. What's that? You can thank Caleb Elliott. Caleb Elliott, my co-writer, along with Peter Case. I wrote that song with Caleb Elliott and Peter Case a bunch of years ago now. It's high time I record it, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. We'll get there. Actually, it's... did we record that? Not really. We did it? We okay. did just a sort of a demo of it. We haven't put a band to it yet. I think it's time to have our guests on. Yes, here we go. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so good to see you. Hello. Oh my gosh, thanks for joining us. Wouldn't miss it. Yeah, thank you. Where exactly are y'all in Western Mass? We're in Williamsburg, Massachusetts, which is just outside of Amherst and Northampton. Very nice. It's still a little chilly out there? Yeah. <laughs> Been. Yeah, <laughs> we had but, snow the other day, so good time. But it's getting there, right? You get, you might have some some daffodils up, maybe a few tulips. Oh, yeah. We do. Yeah. We have daffodils. Yeah. We have a lot of allergy pollen. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Nashville's does not have corner. They're not corner in the market on that. Now this is house of sneeze. <laughs> you can hear yeah, them. Yeah, same, <laughs> same. It's a, it's a, it's a pollen fest. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So. Um, wow, you know, here we are, a year and change later, and we're yeah. still doing this. Uh, when it, You said when we did the sound check, you have a, a, a real show coming up at some point in June. Like, this is a real show. I mean, a show with people <laughs> on the screen instead of ourselves. Yeah, I, I've got three, and you've got two, right? Yep. I've two. got, we're doing one together in New Jersey, and the location has not been announced yet, so I'm not allowed to say it. And then I'm doing one up in New Hampshire, up almost all the way to where Mount Washington is, in a club called um, the Sandwich Club. Wow. And, and it's owned by John Davidson. Remember the guy from Match Game and Love Boat? And, oh, gosh. Wow. He's, in, he's in the club business now? Well, he's a musician now. Wow. Oh. When he retired from film and TV, he decided to become a folk singer like everybody does from film and TV. So. <laughs> it's the Sandwich Club in New Hampshire. Yeah. I wonder what they serve there. <laughs> <laughs> and then Louise has one up in Beckett. 
the Beckett Art Center. Beckett Art Center, and then I'm doing a show at the Beckett Art Center a couple weeks later. So, well, so, so we're slowly getting our getting get, getting our poles back in the water. It's odd because it I is, don't know I don't know how to look at it yet. I know, know how to envision what's going to happen. I know, and it's emotional. We were talking about oh, how man. how intensely emotional it is. Yeah. We, we went over to a friend's house for dinner last night. It was the first person that I've seen since, you know, face to face since the pandemic started. Mm -hmm. And it brought tears to my eyes. It was very emotional. It really is. Each first brings a f emotion. And it's so uh, uh, tangled that it's hard to know. I can't name the emotion. It just feels like right. intense. Well, I was t when we were talking yesterday, I said, you know, we've known each other forever, and we've been touring forever, and you just get so used to, well, if this show's not great, tomorrow night's going to be great, and, you know, and I get to see this when I go to the third show, and now it's a completely different ball game, and I, I think a lot of us will appreciate every single time we play and, and look at it through different eyes. Mm -hmm. Certainly, that's my experience in Houston when we played last week. I just wanted to hug and kiss the owners and thank them for <laughs> what they've done for folk singers all these years and let them know that my gratitude is overflowing for, for, for them and for, for the investment that they've made in their community and in us to give us a place to play. It's a big deal, these people who yeah. host us. Mm -hmm. yes. you know? I've done a couple of online shows for clubs to keep them going. Yeah. The Ripton Coffee House and um, Vermont, Bo yeah. Diddley's in St. Cloud, Minnesota. Just to help them out. You know? Yeah, we did that Club at the Passim's. We did that Passim's. for Pass Seams. Yeah, we did two shows for them and uh, you know, I guess that's that's um, a good thing for us to get uh, I think for me, I can't speak for you, but to really get in touch with uh, the uh, the gratitude for the venues, um, oh, it's yeah. it's so easy to go town to town to town and start treating it like it. my friend Sam Baker said. I was becoming a FedEx delivery man. I'd show up with with my songs, del del my guitar, deliver my songs, and go to the next block, mm -hmm. and it became mechanical for me. That 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 is something that can happen if you if you travel a whole lot over a lot of time and. Uh, well, right now, it's anything but mechanical. Everything is yeah. so conscious. Yeah, I think yeah. it's because there's so much insecurity with it. You know, we don't know what the reopening is really going to look like for a lot of people. And some clubs didn't make it, you know, and that's a sadness. You know, A lot of clubs didn't make yeah, it. Yeah, and so, you know, I think um, just the not knowing is sort of... We're in this liminal space now between the virus and the reopening and for musicians it's a really weird spot <laughs> also it's another thing that that is very emotional to me is is the gratitude i feel towards the people who have supported me all this year absolutely. people me have been too. incredibly generous yeah. me too and i did a thank you concert a, a week ago or two weeks ago just to say don't throw any more money at me um <laughs> at least for that show and, and just thank people for being so there Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. People stepped up quite a bit during this time. It was wonderful, incredibly gratifying, humbling. Well, that, we can certainly couch this as a win. The yeah. the, um, yeah. the the conscious awareness of our gratitude. There you go. Uh, yeah. How about some music? Yeah. Give All us right. a couple, would y'all? All right. I'll I'll start us out. Um, uh, I'm from Tennessee, but I moved up here to uh, Massachusetts a few years ago and um, finally wrote a, my first song about New England, which is um, uh, my new home. So, One day every autumn, a certain breeze blows by, a cold kiss of winter in a clear blue sky, a whisper a warning a shot across the bow the turning of the world going around october in new england leaves falling right on time and review like a painting every breeze a baby
is my second glass of wine You will never be mine Oh, saw an ad in the paper that gave me the blues A wedding dress for sale Lovely. Well, thank you. Thank You're drinking so a lot. <laughs> <Apparently>. <laughs> okay, this is a song. I have a new album out called New Things with a K. And this is one of the songs on it. And it's I wrote it during the pandemic, which I didn't write a whole lot. I put three or four songs on the album on that. Anyway. <laughs> My passport back in customs I left my hat upon the rack I left my phone in my hotel room And it's never coming back Now all my things belong to others There's no such phrase as lost and find I'm getting sentimental For all the things I left she was as beautiful as morning She was sharper than a knife She vowed she would be faithful But we were never man and wife She always stood beside me She never was unkind But someone else is making love To all the things I love couples tour when this is over. I would love to tour with you. I would love that. <laughs> I think we would have a good time. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cliff, when did I meet? My first memory of meeting you, and I don't know if this is going to be the same for you meeting me, but I think we were on the stage together at Falcon Ridge Folk Festival. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ann Saunders is actually tuned in and just commented, so hi Ann, we hi. love you. 
our gratitude for you overfloweth. Um, it was the that, early 90s, I think. That festival has been a home for me for so long. But we were on a side stage, and it was a big, big deal for me. I was just getting started, and I was there with you and Dar. And at the time, Dar was um, uh, peaking in terms of... Um, of fan base and mm -hmm. uh, big, big media, and she was right on the edge of, uh, of uh, I don't know the 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 what's the word for folk superstardom? Um, it's an um, and that's an oxymoron. But. Uh, yeah, you know she was the <laughs> she was the hottest artist at the festival, yes. and there were dozens of photographers in the pit in front of the stage and they were they were just there was just i had never seen paparazzi like that in my life and i looked at you and i, I went oh my god you, and you said i'll oh, get used to it it just it just follows dar around <laughs> you something like that you're just like ah, don't worry about it. just play your song you were just so cool and i was so intimidated by the by the cameras, but you, yeah. you I call them folk paparazzi. <laughs> Folkarazzi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dar used to be my neighbor. Oh, I love her. Back then, and we saw each other every day for a long time. You know, we did a lot of stuff together. I miss uh. her a lot. But in that moment, you positioned yourself as someone I could lean on, like someone yeah. with. I mean, I don't want to call you old, but I will say you've been doing this a lot longer than I have, and your wisdom is always appreciated. And, and I've leaned on you quite a bit over the years and have such respect uh, for, for, for your work and for the trails that you've blazed. I mean, your generation made it possible for the next generation to have a circuit to play on. You built the circuit, you yeah. know? And, uh, you know, it, it is not gone unnoticed by me. Well, but in, in that moment, you, Mary, you know? I just leaned on you. I'm like, hold my hand. This is terrifying. How do I play music with 500 cameras flashing and all this craziness going on? And they're not focused on me. They're yeah. all pointing at <laughs> Dar. <laughs> but you were just like, ah, don't even look at him. Just play the music. You were, you were there and well, you still are. I think this career is an odd one where, you know, you're riding high, high in April and shut down in May. So there's a yeah. lot of <laughs> That's highs well and lows. put. And it's like, you know, like when The Long Road came out, the photographers were there for me. And then when that passes, you just kind of got to go, well, good for Dar. You know? Absolutely good for anybody that that brings enthusiasm and excitement to this genre and this mm -hmm. and this uh, uh, art form and that that it, it you know it it, it definitely uh, created new interest in young people for folk music. It's Absolutely. all a win. Absolutely. I'm yeah. always one that's rooting. I get the pom poms out for anybody that has any success in this. I have. Um, Chris Lavin once said. Christine Lavin said. Um, about people that are jealous of other musicians' success. Uh, there's enough sunshine on the beach for everybody. <laughs> I love I'm not that. stealing oh, your sunshine. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. I love that. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's a win for all of us when yeah. one of us does well. Um, and it brings audience and listeners, like, you know, like, like I said, to, to folk music, which uh, um, is constantly reinventing itself and is always relevant. Uh, but there's periods of stagnation uh, in public perception, and then a, a new exciting artist comes along and brings the next generation in. You know, right. it was Dar for a while, then it was Ani. Right. Uh, and uh, who is it now? I mean, um, it's certainly me Jason. Again. It's, it's you again. It's you again. It's, yeah. It, the next generation will find their person, and yeah, they uh, will. We'll, we'll all we'll all clap and be happy for the young people coming in, and and uh, you know, it's I've been at this long enough now to where people kind of look at me and lean on me and like yeah. I still see myself like the kid leaning on you but now there's people leaning it's just this chain of of um of interconnectedness that makes it folk music it makes it it makes it uh um a story that that has a lot of chapters it's 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 still the 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 same story though we're, we're bringing music to the folks well you know when when I came came around with John Gorka and Sean Colvin and Suzanne Vega and that whole crew, uh, Christine and Patty Larkin, we all kind of got signed at the same time. And all of a sudden, you know, we were getting, a lot of people in New England were, you know, were having gigs in churches, you know, because it was cheaper than renting an auditorium. 
And I remember years later, Tom Paxton said, it's because of your generation that I'm playing feeders. Because I was playing the same miserable clubs as you were in the 70s and, and 80s. And when you brought folk music back, it propelled me to, to legend status. <laughs> you know, so that's really cool to me. Yeah, I cool. never thought of it from Tom's wow. perspective. That makes good sense. Yeah, that makes and good Janice sense. Janice Ian and Tom and um, uh, Odetta. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Odetta started playing. Dave Van Rock. And all of a sudden, they passed. start playing theaters and getting yeah. you know because now they were you know living legends. And Tom. And we're still at still it. Is. You know, as John Gorka said uh, the other day, he said, "Had we had hits." A number one hit, we'd be doing that hit in Vegas right now. <laughs> and we wouldn't be still writing and doing what we do, you know, and making records still. Aww. That's true. That's true. Be careful what you wish for with a hit. It, it, does, uh, it does create a certain arc in the career, and it, it's, a, it, it's a trajectory that, uh, that not many folk singers are on, and not many folk <laughs> singers want to be on. You know, I love playing the small theaters, the mom and pops, the listening rooms, having the relationships with the owners of the venue, uh, going, uh, sharing a meal with them at the, in the green. I, I just like the, I like, I like it at ground level. I'm not uh, envious at all of people who are playing the arenas. That, that mm -hmm. I've been backstage yeah. at arenas and it's, it's quite, it's, it's quite a different experience than being with, um, you know, Rusty and Teresa at the Monkey right. Duck in Houston for 20 years, you know, yeah. doing this yeah. thing. And now they're building Jamie, you know. It's just great. Yeah. It's yeah, great. I was there two years ago with Amy Spies. Yeah, it's great. They, they latch place. on to an artist and they build you. They build taste. Carl, you know, they loved Greg Trooper. God rest his soul. Oh, man, they loved Greg Oh, Trooper. man. <laughs> Teresa can't even say Greg Trooper without crying. It's love-based, you know. Yeah. So... Anyway, we're coming back to y'all in a minute, but now we're going to go to Italy and, and see how the maestro's doing. We'll have some more music from both of you shortly, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, this is, this is so Let's go to Italy. Let's go to Italy. Welcome to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> what? That works every, every week. week. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Michele. How are you? I'm well, I'm well. Uh, I'm feeling better than the other week. I have a, a red shirt mm -hmm. today. No more and, black. <laughs> uh, no more black. Today, a red shirt. By the way, uh, today is a national holiday in Italy because today is Liberation Day, uh, April 25th. And it's the day when uh, we, uh, we um, finally, uh, uh, the, the partisans won uh, against the fascists. It was uh, it was today, April twenty uh, fifth, nineteen forty five, with uh, some help uh, from the Americans, as you remember, and also other people. So uh, it's a great day to celebrate. And uh, in this world uh, liberation today, there is also another meaning because it, uh, tomorrow it will be the end uh, of another of another uh, of another lockdown. In Italy, oh, and uh, and uh, we all will have a, a little bit of freedom uh, to go to go out. Uh, then the figures, the number are going down again. So uh, because the vaccine is uh, going on in Italy now, all the people are vaccinated. I'm still uh, I'm still uh, too young for the vaccine, I guess. And uh, one of the few things uh, for uh, I am uh, I am too too young but anyway the vaccine is like that I'm waiting uh, but tomorrow it will be better for everybody and uh, today I was thinking uh, to play just like uh, I did one one year, year ago one year ago it's unbelievable uh, when wow. I when I played uh, this thing one year ago I say, okay, next year I will be, I don't know where, in Texas, in Colorado, with Mary. No, I am still... Still here, uh, yeah. <laughs> still, still here and uh, still playing uh, this song. And I will play tonight a song called Bella Ciao, that is a um, song, the most famous song of the resistance uh, in Italy. And uh, everybody knows the melody all around the world, even 
even for example Tom Waits sang, sang a version of the song uh, in a beautiful album with his uh, guitar player Mark Ribot uh, song of resistance maybe is the title of the album anyway I will play this um, uh, traditional song of the resistance also because uh, we are all still resisting in right. some way yes so i'm ready So much emotion in that song. Uh, it's a, a, a song that everyone in Italy loves because there is a lot of of meaning in this. Uh, it means uh, it means emotion. It means uh, freedom after uh, after more than uh, twenty years with the fascists. So it means life after a while. It means uh, uh, life after pain after. Uh, suffering for uh, so many years. So uh, I I love to play this song every every 25th of April. So <laughs> okay, I hope uh, to do it next time with you uh, next year on some stage somewhere yes. in the world. Let's do it in Italy. <laughs> yes, let's do it in Italy. Come to Italy. <laughs> yes, we miss mm. Italy very much. We miss we oh. miss Europe and the UK very much. It's I don't know of a year. In my whole career where I haven't gone, it's so strange to, to not have flown over the Atlantic Ocean once. This, this, it's so strange. And it probably, yes, won't, yeah. it probably won't happen in 21 either. Two years of, of not going yes. is so... Yes, it's really, it's really weird uh, for me too. And I, I, I really miss uh, US because uh, I always lived uh, half of my life uh, uh, with you on the other side of the ocean in the last uh, 10 years or something. So it's a long time, long time. But um, 
It will happen. I'm sure oh, about that. Well, it, 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 we're already, I'm already, it's going to happen. <laughs> we're yes, talking it, to agents. We're talking to venues. We're going to, we're in the process of planning it out. So yes, yes, uh, yes, yes, it's yes. It's coming. Um, um, it's called Liberation Day. Yes. Uh, Festa della Liberazione, Liberation Day. You can find all the information uh, on Wikipedia in English. Check the, the page today. It's called Liberation Day, and, and, and you can read uh, all the story. So check it because it's an interesting story also. Mm -hmm. Well, and, happy uh, Liberation Day to you, Maestro. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you, my friend, and happy li Liberation Day to uh, everybody and to, to all everybody. my my Italian friends, but to everybody, we all need a Liberation Day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank mm. you yeah. for playing the beautiful song. Thank and, you, my uh, friend. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Jamie. And uh, it's a honor to share our uh, Sunday with a. Uh, master and maestro like uh, like uh, cliff eberat tonight mm -hmm. so this is great this is great another great sunday yeah, yeah. it is mm. it is mm. thank you my friend we'll talk soon thank you Mary. yes yes ciao 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 ciao, ciao. all right Let's miss harris have you a song i think so i was thinking i was gonna I was struggling to decide what to play today. I was thinking I played something from that new record I'm making, and then I decided, no, I'm gonna play something that um, uh, did, that it didn't doesn't belong on this record, but um, is definitely a song about longing and waiting. Um, and I got to record it with Aaron Lee Tashton, which was super fun. The day after the Nashville tornado, we were all really glad we had something to focus on, and um, I put it on my Patreon page, uh, which I've got a lot of exciting stuff. Uh, hanging out there right now and coming up this month um and yes just yesterday do you remember when you and Michaela and me were all on the kayama cruise in 2019 and we got asked to be a part of that woody guthrie tribute that's that? right with billy bragg with billy bragg and billy bragg walked in but i don't know if you remember this but he walked in backstage and he was like who who can sing deportee with me and you volunteered me do you yeah, remember that yeah story? He, sa he's, he said come sing deportee with me mary i'm like she should sing Deportee <laughs> with you. Jamie's got the fire for it, and she's got the words here. Let's go, Harris. Yeah, yeah. it was kind of crazy. So, uh, yeah, and he was just like, my sure, right? Goodbye, Rosalita. Yeah. Adios, mis amigo. I love that song. Me I love too. Billy Bragg, and I love you. Yeah, <laughs> I love you too, and Billy Bragg, and Woody Guthrie, and, and that song, and all of it. Um, but somebody posted, that was on the cruise posted a photo from that. And um, so on my Patreon page, I shared the rehearsal, which you filmed. And at the time, it made me really I say rehearsal. It was basically one time singing it with Billy Bragg. Well, he sings it um, uh, punk rock. Very Billy Bragg style, yes, Punk totally. rock, yeah. And British punk rock uh, deportee. I, exactly. I, I knew that it would cause me to fall on my face, but I knew you <laughs> could do it. <laughs> well, thank you. I remember just, I think my nerves were really intense the whole time, so it was hard to have perspective. So anyways, when someone shared that picture this week, I thought it was, um, it made me think about it. And I found that video um, that you, you had shared with me. And so um, that's up on the Patreon with a long story about um, that tribute and, oh, yeah. and that experience and, and what it's like to kind of, you know, how it, to, to kind of work through nerves and get to the other side of gratitude and the feeling of belonging and kind of stepping up and all of that so that's uh that's what i have on my patreon this week but you can also find this song so. they said that it would come and the heavens opened up and the sky began to cry all the rain saw it all from tennessee Wishing you were here with me Wishing I was wrapped up in your arms again I keep listening to your song It helps me to carry on In a world I seem to be floating above You're a million 
But it's quite the poet's dream to feel such a longing, feel so tortured, no such love. Won't you keep me on your mind as we wander through this time, marking off the days with X's and O's? I will do the same, you know, I ain't that far behind. As you go, won't you keep me on your mind? I can only dream of all the places you have seen Or to fly on the wings of a song We'll spin our tail in rhyme Putting love in every line And we'll be singing here together before long Won't you keep me on your mind As we wander through this time Marking off the days with X's and O's I will do the same, you know I ain't that far behind As you go won't you keep me on your mind? All It's too hard to think on all the days that come between The next time I'll hold your hand in mine One day you'll greet the dawn I'll be red and right along But while you're gone, won't you keep me on your mind? Won't you keep me on your mind? Off the days with X's and O's I will do the same You know I ain't that far behind As you go, won't you keep me on your mind I will do the same You know I ain't that far behind As you go, won't you keep me on your mind Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Goshe. Beautiful song. Thank you. Beautiful singing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Yeehaw. Keep you on my mind. <laughs> What's your feeling, Goshe? Mm. Gotta get it. Fish farms and swamps. A Pascagoula sunset. A longing breaking through. I don't know why I'm always leaving. Don't know why I left you. 
Won't you meet me in the meadow? We can look up at the stars Lean into the wind Dream again Find out who we are Won't you meet me in the meadow No more alone We could lay down in the grass Till the feelings pass Then go home So tired of running from things I cannot leave. You and me and Mississippi battled beautiful and scarred, all in need of forgiveness. In the awful grace of God Won't you meet me in the meadow We can look up at the stars Lean into the wind Dream again Find out who we are won't you meet me in the meadow no more alone let's lay down in the grass till the feelings pass then go home we could lay down in the grass Till the feelings pass Then go home Let's go to Massachusetts There we go <laughs> Woohoo Wonderful Great song Yeah absolutely. Oh Beautiful. thank you Thank that you That violin piece and, and that, Nicara, Drove me to my knees Yeah that was gorgeous Right, you feel the history oh, in yeah. it, uh, the uh, beautiful. the emotion of uh, of the liberation of so many people in Europe. It's really a powerful song. He does play it every Liberation Day, and I just it just it does something, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah, haunting. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So take it away, Cliff and Louise. Thanks, Mary. Um, I'm going to kind of change gears here. So, uh, we'll, we'll do this one. It's called Don't Come Looking for Me.
pretty subtle. Um, that was one I co-wrote with my, my friend Donna Ulysse. She's a bluegrass singer in Nashville, but we didn't write a bluegrass song. So That was not a bluegrass song. No. <laughs> you could um, do it as a bluegrass that's song. That's true. That would be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? You could do it on banjo. <laughs> Why don't you render us one? You never understood without oh, that. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that that felt like Tennessee. That felt that felt southern. You you are from the South, right, oh, Louise? Oh yes. You're a southern girl like me. Five years ago, so it's been a culture shock for everybody involved. I think, including me. <laughs> when I go to the grocery when I go to the grocery store, they look at me like, "What did you just say?" You know. <laughs> She, the other day she said, uh, don't start none, won't be none. And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. I, Have you ever heard that expression? No, but I know what it means yeah. just from here to yeah. one time. Okay, I've heard them a whole lot. Don't start none, won't be none. Got it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Love it. Uh, okay, we just say, please don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. It is interesting coming into folk music as a Southerner, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, you know, and I've been told that I have too much twang at times. Yep, 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 yep. I came through the ranks in Boston myself, uh, and I'm, I'm from, I was born in New Orleans, right. raised in Baton Rouge, and, and I uh, have a deep uh, relationship with music of the South, and, and, and found my way in the beginning years through the folk coffee houses in New England. And uh, my agent, uh, I don't know if you remember this guy, Sean LaRoche, but Cliff oh, probably knew. Oh, a dear friend of mine. He was yeah, my agent, too. Yeah. He was my very first agent ever, and he said, you got to move. It's product confusion, Gaucher, product confusion. You cannot live in Boston. <laughs> he sent me back south. He said, go to Nashville, go to Austin, get out of there, because I can't sell you uh, if you live in Boston. It was, it was, he was adamant about it. But there is a sort of a New England folk uh, tradition that I love. The singer-songwriter in the spotlight with a bar stool and a bottle of water. It's just so mm -hmm. romantic to yeah. me. Yeah. It's still yeah. Cool. yeah. It's, a, it's a great place to come through uh, and learn the, the, um, the road, uh, you know. You know, when I first started out, though, I, you know, I was living in New York when uh, I got signed. And it was hard to get gigs in Boston then because it, there was this whole, like, oh, you're from New York. You know, and I'm from Boston, and it was it was a strange period of time. Well, the you know the the circuit uh, in the South is very different than in the Northeast and the West. So we're oh, still yeah. building down here, uh, as Louise well knows. In Nashville, uh, it's yeah, very different. Yeah. Uh, it's a completely it's the singer songwriters. Totally town. Yeah. yeah, it's a different <laughs> reality. But anyway, I thought I'd just jump in and say your yeah, Southern great. roots are showing. It was based on a true story too, so that makes that song more, such even a more good fun. jam, man. Yeah, the two guitars, a, we're we're over here yeah. loving it. I'm Thank listen you. Listen to that again in the replay. Yeah, we're sure. gonna watch yeah, that replay. It. So, <laughs> get me out of here, Jamie. Oh, there you go. Sundays Two weeks from Tuesday Halfway across the country This time Always your face Appears in my dreams And brings me back home Tonight Always your face my memory I don't feel alone tonight lost on the freeway I'm headed the wrong way your arms can't reach me this time but always your face
warms you How this life can toss and turn you When you follow the paths of your dream How these nights feel so long These feelings so strong so beautiful it is interesting um because i know you're you're not officially a duo but you're very good together i know you both have your own things like jamie and i and i i uh uh am well aware of the 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 inter you know the the dance when a couple uh, is both musical but but you guys are really good together it's fun, but we're in different places in our career, you know, and so it's, it, yeah, we, do some we shows are two. together and we do a lot of shows apart and he does Sometimes, on a winter's you know, night. The so. promoters call and say, leave fat ass at home. Just come yourself, you know, to, to Louise. So. <laughs> <laughs> we figure this out one show at a time, but, um, yeah, you're, you, your voices are, are, are lovely together and, um, Thank you. um, the, um, the emotion is uh, is uh, gorgeous when when you sing together. I really like it. I learned it. how to fake that years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can you can sidebar with me and show me a little a little trick or two. I I'm hesitant to sing with anybody because I don't hear harmony and I'm not. Uh, I just don't fancy myself a singer. I just think of myself as someone who sings because I have to. I, I uh -huh. sing because I write. I'm, I'm a writer for sure, but. Like vocally, I feel like I, I have. You, uh, I think you, you're really emotional when you sing. I, I do. Mm -hmm. I can sing my songs, but yeah. boy, am I scared to sing other people's songs, especially harmony is a with skill. them. Harmony is a skill you can learn. I mean, I when I first started singing, I was in an Indigo Girls cover band, and basically, is that right? That was how I learned. Was just, and then I just started singing harmony with the radio. Any song that came on, I try to sing harmony with it, no matter what it was, and. And that it, you just learn, you know, you just, but it, it, it does not come naturally. Um, it does now, but I mean, it's. I'm not really the greatest harmony singer. I did a song with uh, a harmony with Dar and Alison Krauss on one of Dar. Uh, it was a band song, but it was on one of Dar's albums. And it took me hours to get that part, you know? Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. I, bet, I bet you nailed it, though, when it was all said oh, and yeah. done. It sounded good. It's an amazing yeah. track. Yeah. But you know, that song I just played. The first time I played that during the pandemic, I started crying because I thought of everybody that I missed, you know, mm. and That's how many people are gone. Then, so many people are gone. Yeah, yeah, so many people are gone. And, uh, and the melody captures that longing. And then the two voices together is exquisite. <laughs> how about I play one and you play one and then we all uh, go home. Wait, we are home. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I've been home. Go, go cook or something. <laughs> uh, let's do it that way. I'll play uh, one of my songs ab about um, uh, about that subject matter, and then you guys take us take us out at the end. Is that right. is that good? good? Thank you. Thank y'all. I love the melody on that song. Oh, that me you too. Sing. That melody is exquisite. Uh, well done, Cliff. Yeah. That was a great two. One, two. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. So we're going to play one more, and they're going to play one more, and then this Sunday is back up for grabs. Figure out something to do. <laughs> I got a garden to plant. 
You gonna go run a mile? May eternity hold you in the hollow of her hand. May a soft wind enfold you as you travel distant lands. May the moon and stars delight you as the daylight dims. Till the morning sun warms your face till I see you again May you lay down your struggle beneath the silver sky summer rain inside your dreams sang a lullaby may there be no more sorrow and no more pain May you sleep inside the stillness of the night Till I see you again May you never be a stranger May you never feel alone May you reunite with family and friends And may they walk you home May love embrace you in a dance that never ends May you rest in gentle arms Till I see you again May you rest in gentle arms Till I see you How lovely. Beautiful. Mm, thank you, you. You have made my day. This has been just so heartfelt and, and wonderful to be with you. We feel exactly the same way. All y'all. Y'all. All y'all. It's been a joy. <laughs> y'all yeah. make us feel less alone. And <laughs> it's so nice to be friends. I feel yeah. like Mr. Rogers all of a sudden. But friends are really important. And uh, being friends with the two of you is such a good thing thing for both of us. Thank you. Agreed. The other day somebody was asking me about some famous person that I know and I said, they said, well, you're friends with them, right? And I said, well, I don't have their number. <laughs> you know? I said, we got over and I said, I have Mary's number, though. You do. <laughs> and I will answer any time you call. <laughs> Same here. You can lean on me for the rest of the duration of this life. For until our time is done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take us out. Thank right. you for joining us. Thank you for doing Thanks for being us. a part of our Wonderful. Sunday and a part of our life. We love y'all. We love you. Thank you.
sun doesn't care on which side of the river it lays its head down for rest she is waiting for me in the land of the free well it's ironic to me I guess Look how the seabirds fly over the borderline. You never have to spend a dime to have a home. Now look at the shape I'm in. My emotions are paper thin. They're gonna send me back again. That's the way that it goes. Bye, y'all.